Greetings YouTube, Dark Swordsman here, and I am back for more Final Fantasy XIII. And in today's episode, we're going to be dealing with a couple of boss fights, as well as seeing how Snow and Hope's little barmy plays out. So without further ado, let's get on with today's show. And before I go running off, there's a chest over here that I almost left behind, because I'm an idiot. So let's go grab that now. Shaman's Mark. Oh, hey up, we're being jumped. Oh, it's one of those. Right, these guys are an absolute pain, but there is a tactic to use against them, because they do have a really nasty move called the Gasoline Gun, which, if not handled correctly, will one-shot. So when he goes to use it, I will show you how to deal with it. That's if he uses it. Now he's using it. So what we need to do is go to our Sentinel. We go Provoke. And then we go Still Guard. And as quickly as possible. I wasn't fast enough. That's annoying. But yeah, the initial idea is Provoke will take the aggro towards you. And then Provoke will deflect the attack and reduce the damage. But in this case, I wasn't fast enough. And unfortunately, as you can see, I paid the price for it. There we go, he's down. There's going to be a couple more of those to deal with yet as well. That was the ones that I said were annoying fights actually in the last episode. And they really are annoying, I'll be honest. They're an absolute pain in the douche, as it were. I tend to run from them as much as I can because of the Gatling gun and what the Gatling gun can do. Granted, I need the CP, but it's like, is it really worth the hassle of being gunned at like that? And my answer is no, it really isn't. That is a weapon for hope. Let's have a look. See what we've got here. Ah, gives us defense, maintenance, and magic wall. But on the other hand, it does drop his magic, and we don't really want to drop his magic, ideally. We want that magic to be strong. Great, another one. Terrific. Do I have a double rather set? No, I don't. I still didn't set that up. I need to do that. No matter. Heal up a moment. Thanks, partner. Well, come on. It's me, you want douchebag. Here we go. As you can see, the steel guard deflects the attack, barely doing any damage, and that is it. His Gatling gun has been defeated. Hope survives. And it's as simple as that, folks. So I hope that little tip there is useful to you guys. If, you know, if you're playing this for the first time, I know this is an old PS3 game. It has been out for quite some time now, so I should imagine most people have played through this by now. But I figured also with the fact that I kind of feel like a remastering of this game is inevitable, it was worth doing the walkthrough for, just purely because of that reason. That and it's also one that I haven't fully put on my channel yet and I kind of felt like I needed to. Well this is going to be an annoying fight. Hey, 
Thanks, partner. How about this? Still didn't set my double rubber up, it's such an idiot. Oh crud. No, wrong stance, wrong stance, wrong stance, wrong stance. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn, it wasn't fast enough. That's really irritating. Oh well. I guess it is what it is. <laughs> Didn't help that I panicked a little bit and went into the wrong stance, but okay. No worries, we still got this, I think. I think we have one more of these to deal with around the other five. And once again, he is backed up by the same douchebag that this one was backed up by. <clears throat> Just as he went to Gatling gun again for the second time. Right, now that he's out of my way, I swear there was another... I don't know, maybe not. I got that wrong. I thought there was a chest that side as well, but apparently not. Right, well, in that case, we'll continue working our way around. These guys again. Okay, we'll go more in peace for this one. Oh, I still didn't set that paradigm up. <laughs> Oh my god, what is wrong with me? I need to do that in a second, I really do. Stay with me, Hope. Before I forget again, let me just... There we go. I've got the double rather now. Well, that's snow pretty much maxed out again by the looks of it. Which just leaves Hope left now, who's somehow fallen really far behind. Still not 100% certain as to how that's happened. About another two to three grand of CP there to get rid of that. Why do we do have a boss fight coming up? So that might yield what we need. Oh, 
Come on, slow speed up. Right, in this case, I'm actually gonna. Oh no. He's targeting me, he's targeting me. Wait your blooming turn, Gatling gun user. Time to pick this thing apart. How about this? Not again. Oh no, he's targeting Hope. I it's thought he was targeting me. Bloody hell. That's my bad. I really thought he was targeting me. But I got it wrong. So wrong. That is one of the very few times I've managed to win that fight without actually having to use a Deception or a Forte Soul. That means I'm really improving. I'm really impressed with myself on that. Normally I get myself into a right bleeding mess trying to do that fight. Okay, dokey. Sell off some stuff here, not that one, the other one. Where is it? I know we picked up a weapon, but where is it? There it is. And use that accessories we don't want to touch. Actually, there is one thing I could get rid of though, and that's the. to get rid of those as well because we don't need them, and they are more or less for money rather than anything else. Gonna go ahead here and just do a few more upgrades a sec. It's that one done. That one's gonna be for the nil. Oh, do I use up all my... Oh, crap. Oh, okay, well, in that case, I'm not upgrading that one then. All right, then, onwards. Cutscene time. And also, we're going to finally get to see what happens between Hope and Snow. I wanted to ask you something. What's that? You say you want a family. What if... What if they were taken from you? Well then, I'd take them back. And what if you couldn't? What if you knew who was to blame? Well, then there'd be trouble. <laughs> hey, are you okay? Did you get hit in the head or something? <laughs> I guess we'll have to talk about this later. Don't just stand there. Hope, wait! Shh, 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 shh. 
I thought that cutscene was going to be longer. Time to switch, kiddo. Oops, no, no. Thanks, partner. Please hurry up, Hope. I can't keep this potioning up forever. Okay, so this is the Ashunagal Subjukitar. Uh, he's got 126k health. We are going to have to fight him twice as well, by the way, just to put it out there. Um, but don't worry about the second fight just yet. Um, oh. yeah, we are going to strike back in a minute. I'm just trying to get my defenses up a second. There we go. Alright, oh, I believe it's time that we went on the attack. I could have used a Fortisol actually and an Agasol for this fight, but I wanted to see if I could do it without. And so far we seem to be doing alright, so it means I save on the uh, Agasols and the Ow, Fortisols. Now also partially through the fight he will also sabotage himself a little bit. I'm not really sure why he does that, but hey, I ain't saying no to it. There we go, he's gone into sabotage mode now. He's got deep attack and deep shell on himself. Okay, that was some wee bit. Gonna go into war and peace for a second so that hope can heal us back up again. Alright, let's do some damage. Could really do with getting rid of that blooming bravery that he's got on him though, it's the only thing that's tripping me up right now. I wonder if I just dual cast and get that stagger bar up a bit more. Do it. Alright, let's finish this. Got him. There we go. Damn, I did that all without the use of a Fort Soul or an Agasol, and on top of that, I actually banked myself with a Zetzel as well, so that's a pretty big win all around, I think. Oh, yeah! If you need to take a break. Why don't we do it over there? Here. Here. I'm not thirsty. I'm not thirsty. Oh. Okay. Well, well, don't want to waste it. Mommy? 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 Mommy. Mommy! I can't. I can't. Snow? Snow? What do you plan to do? I need to know. I told you. Save Sarah, protect Cocoon, have myself a big happy family. Still, it's a long road ahead. Or maybe not so long. Whatever happens, things will work themselves out. Even if you're Lassie, you gotta keep fighting. Yeah. And what if that gets people around you involved? What? What happens when your actions end up ruining someone's life? What if someone dies? What then, Snow? Uh, I... How do you pay for what you've done? I can't! I can't. Right? 
There is nothing that can make something like that right again. When someone's dead, when someone's gone, words are useless. So that's it? People die and you just run away? I know! It's all my fault. I don't know how to fix it. Where do you start? What do you say? All I can do is go forward. Keep fighting and surviving until I find the answers I need. There are no answers! You're running from what you deserve! Well, why don't you tell me what I deserve? The same fate! And it finally comes to a head. Nora Estein. She, she was my mother. And she died, and she died because of you. 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 You're the one she meant. I don't know why that bit always makes me tear up. I think it's because Hope's anger really finally comes out. Or what we've done. All we could do was wander cocoon, looking for what we lost. I think it's because I feel for him a little Let's bit. Give up. Forget our focus. We don't need it. We don't need it. Look, if we don't figure it out and pull it off, you're gonna be a thief. It's just. Making a kid that young, Alice, see? It's not right! Yeah, it's unfair. But guess what? We grin and bear it like good Lissy, or the Falsy starts making more. Like that girl the other day. It doesn't matter what our focus is. We do it, whether we like it or not. But... Say we call it quits. You think these people will let us go? They'll lynch us in the street. Listen, Vanille. We do what we gotta do and get ourselves off this filthy world as fast as we can. Fine. You get out of here first. I'll buy you some time. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, now, don't you worry. I'll come and find you no matter where you go. After that, Reigns and his cavalry found me. I never stopped searching for Vanille, but I couldn't find her. Her, or I focus. So, you're telling me Sarah will come back to life someday, too? Yep. We didn't do our job right. That's why it made her a lessee. We messed up. Sorry. Sorry. <coughs> that it? You sure better hope so. But whether we're square, that's up to Sarah. You sound exactly like Snow. And he didn't hit me. Wait, he already knows this? Wow. That's a load off. Glad I apologized. 
You apologize. You apologize so you'd feel better? Guess so. Guess so. How about you? How about you? Feel any better? Feel any better now that you hit me? It didn't change anything. It didn't change anything. Liar. Tell that to my jaw. Felix Heights is up there. Still a ways before we get to Hope's place. Better pick it up. We'll head through that gate. Right. Okay, so I've just paused and done a little bit of uh, tinkering with my equipment and whatnot. save my game here and then I'm gonna actually call the episode to an end here because I've got a thunderstorm roll, uh, working its way through here and it did say on the news that we were expecting potential power cuts so the last thing I want is to get cut off in the middle of a recording so uh, we're gonna leave it at that for now folks and we'll pick things up next time a little bit annoying I'm honest, I had hoped to get a little bit more done, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so we'll pick things up next time. I hope you've liked what you've seen. If you have, smash that like button, be subscribed to the channel, and I'll see you all soon for more Final Fantasy 13. Take care.